Hi everyone, it's Mrs Lovely here. I'm just going to show you a little bit about some blogging. We would have been doing blogging next term in year four, so I thought it would be a good idea to start doing it with you now. So on Purple Mash, when you're logged in, if you go here, obviously I've got more tabs at the top than you because I'm logged in as a teacher. But when you log in, you should see sharing. If you select sharing and then shared blogs, you will see year four school closure. Now this is only open to year four, of course, okay? So select year four school closure. And then, should, it's taking a bit of a long time, sorry about that. You will see a blog here of year four school closure. Now, the important thing about blogging is to remember that it's for everyone to see. This one isn't available to the public. I'm setting this one so that you can only see it if you have the link and the link will be available if your parents would like to see it, the link will be available on your year four page. Um, you can just access it yourselves through Purple Mash. But that means that when you're writing, your level of English and the standard of grammar and punctuation that you use has to be precise. And the way you think about your writing has to be precise. I know that lots and lots of you, when you're online, when you're messaging and things like that, you forget all about your grammar, your punctuation, you know how much I tell you about capital letters for your names just because you've got a keyboard in front of you. So I thought this would be a really good way to practice all of those skills and also to practice your typing skills. And I will set a to do to help you with practicing your typing as well. So when you log in, yours will look slightly different. You won't have, for example, the edit option. That's for that's for the adults to use. But the setup will be generally the same. Go here this green to this green icon with the plus button, and you create a post. You can call your post what you'd like to call it. So I will call this Mrs. Lovely's test test um, and quick summary. Just a quick post to test this blog. Hi everyone, this blog is for you to use to keep in contact with each other and with Mrs Smith and I. Tell us all about your time at home during the school closure and all of the fun, fun things that you have been getting up to. You may also want to give people tips on how to beat the boredom. Okay, so you can type, you can change the style of your text with bold, italic, and underline. You can change the alignment, which I know we've done lots of before. You can change your font size. You can change your font style, all different ones. You can change your font color, if you wish, or text color. Um, so by clicking on, there we go. So I've highlighted what I wanted to be changed. Use that A. You can change your background color if you would like to. And that selects your text and does, does it um, gives it a different color. You could add an image. So you may want to choose a picture of something you have been doing. Um, so I have been working very hard, although I've been at home. I've been doing lots of work on my laptop. You can add um, and you can also make your own image if you want to by using paint when you go in the add image. Exactly the same as we do in all of our 